Hello everyone, this is Jamal Udinjami, your career coach. Today I'm going to be your language instructor. I would like to welcome you all to my regular episode, Art of Speaking. Art of Speaking is really important for a communicator, especially in business communication. Business is speaking. You need to impress people through your expression. If you really want to impress people by your speaking, you need to be smart. You need to have certain arts in your speaking. So in our regular episode, I would like to welcome and today we are going to talk very important topic to, going to talk about very important topic that is inflection in rapid speech inflection occurs and especially people from india bangladesh pakistan sri lanka i mean this subcontinent we need it because we do have a lot of mistakes on inflections and today we are going to learn them let's see what are those it is important to know uh, Practicing inflection, the sound that comes immediately before an ed ending determines that the way to pronounce the ending the id t. What happens in our phonemes, like consonant sounds, we have learned the voiced and voiceless consonant sounds. So there are certain things. Usually, what happens, like if we add d or ed at the end of any word the pronunciation will go for in three categories, like with the da one, it one, and ta one. What happens with the first da and ta? Usually our biological uh, mechanism does not support us to make the mistake if we want to uh, keep our sound clear. But we do a lot of mistakes on the middle one, like each sound. In subcontinent, like if you visit India, or if you uh, go to Bangladesh or Sri Lanka, you will find that people will say, uh, like with the word this one, wanted. I wanted to go, but I couldn't go. I wanted to learn this English language, but, but I couldn't. I wanted to learn the phonetics and phonology, but I didn't, I couldn't. So what they do, instead of saying id, they say ed, but the correct pronunciation will be id. So with want, if you add ed, the first form of want, the pronunciation will be id, wanted, together wanted. So started, 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 not excited, it will be excited, excited, directed, decided, decided. So with this, if you add ed, the pronunciation will be id, not id. That's the ultimate learning from this video. And our biological mechanism will definitely help you to produce uh, clean with ED, cleaned, name with named, troubled, learned, robbed, and the last one, t sound, skipped, sniffed, tipped, wished, wished, picked, not D, t. So d, id, t. And we, I would like to request you to be more focused with the middle portion, the it one, because we usually do a lot of mistakes. And random, you will find 99% people in the subcontinent, Bangladesh, India, and Sri Lanka, Pakistan as well, they make mistake on particular this one. It, they, instead of saying it, they say it, like wanted. No, it will be wanted, started, excited, uh, directed, decided. Okay? Let's go for a second rule of our inflection. The sound that comes immediately before and so ending determines the way to pronounce the ending is sa za. See, is the same mistake we do in the subcontinent like Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan. They do this prices, not prices. The, the pronunciation will be prices, not quizzes. The pronunciation will be quizzes, not wishes. The pronunciation will be wishes, not kisses. The pronunciation will be kisses, not matches. The pronunciation will be matches, not buses. I saw two buses there. No, passage, passage, buses, buses, kisses, wishes, quizzes, matches, prices, practices, catches. So is, not is. Be careful about that. And next one, that will not be, that will be so, steps, not steps. Steps, graphs, sits, makes, the, labs, observes, bags, occurs. That will be, though it is ES or S, the pronunciation will be the, labs, observes, bags, occurs. So that was all about uh, 
uh, inflections, I would like to request you to be focused more on ed instead of ed, it will be id, instead of s, it, it will be is, okay? With that, thank you very much. If you have any questions, you may write over there. Fanatics is important. The place of articulation, the art of speaking depends on your fanatics. So if you have any questions, you can write me here and I am ready to answer you right after you wrote the comment, you write the comment. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.